Hi guys, this is Shwebal and today I will discuss about block diagram reduction technique. So by using block diagram reduction technique you can easily find the transfer function of any system. So you can also find the transfer function by using signal flow diagram. This will be covered in my next video. So today I will discuss how to find transfer function using block diagram reduction technique so to do this you have to remember some rules so about uh, there is 10 rules so here i only told four rules these rules are very important to do this reduction so first of all in rule one when blocks are in cascade like g1s g2s then this will be after block deduction this will be g1s and g2s means this will be multiplication and rule 2 when blocks are in parallel then like if you g1s g2s g3s all are connected in a block summing block and their sign will be positive then it will be g1s plus g2s plus g3s addition and rule 3 is takeoff point moving a takeoff point ahead of a block so you see this first of all the takeoff point after the gs blocks and here this gs will be before so to do this this will be gs and rule 4 when the takeoff point before gs and we want to move the takeoff point after the gs there this will be 1 by gs okay and rule 5 there will be moving the summing point beyond a block this is not so important and rest of the rules are not so important you have to know just four rule to do this method if you know all the rules then it is very easy to do this block reduction by simply few steps but you have to remember all these things basic these four rules are important so we consider one example and try to solve by using this rule to find the transfer function of the system using block diagram reduction technique so i so here the example one so first of all you have to see the whole system after that you have to decide that which portion is very easy you can easily solve this portion and then you have to choose the which rule will be suitable for this after that you can easily solve this problem so here first of all in step one there are two internal closed loop so first of all we do remove all the loop by using normal positive feedback or negative feedback technique so in step one You have to remember these things when there is summing block and this is GS and this is HS and there will be feedback this one and if input RS and CS this is positive and the negative feedback the transfer function will be CS by RS divided by GS by 1 plus GS in hs this is only for negative feedback so you have to remember that sign you have to every time you have observed this sign if there is a positive then there will be positive feedback and for the positive feedback the cs by rs will be gs by 1 minus gs into hs this is for negative feedback this is for positive feedback so you have to remember this equation very carefully otherwise it will be wrong so first of all we show see that there will be one loop this is the negative feedback loop positive uh, negative feedback loop so we can easily convert this one so in first step this is positive negative and this will be what is the transfer function so g1 by 1 plus g1 h1 is all will be s and after that 
this one will be g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 and rest will be same that this one ch and there will be one feedback which is h3 and this is so now you see that two blocks are in cascade so we follow the rule one when two blocks are cascade there will be multiplication operation so in step three sorry step two this will be plus minus rs g1 g2 1 plus g1 h1 1 plus g2 h2 and this will be feedback which is h3 and this now you see that this is negative feedback you can easily find the transfer function of this block because i already saw this one gs by 1 plus gs hs whole this one you consider gs then this will be this one divided by 1 plus this one into h3 so finally you got the transfer function cs by rs will be g1 g2 1 plus g1 h1 into 1 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h3 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 into 1 plus g2 h2 if you want to simplify this equation you can easily simplify this so you this is very easy step so we find the transfer function of the system by using block diagram reduction technique now we consider one another example so by using block diagram reduction technique we have to find the overall transfer function of the system so first of all by you by seeing the block diagram we have to consider that which portion will be easily you converted after that will be thing rest of the thing so here you can easily see this this one because two blocks are in cascade so that will be multiplication means 1 by r2 into 1 by s into c2 and after that you see this is one loop so you can easily find the transfer function of the block so first of all we do reduction this so this one this one 1 by s c1 and this will be converted um, means gs 1 by r2 sc2 1 plus 1 by r sc2 and cs um, this is feedback to this one rs plus minus 1 by r1 plus minus and this will be 1 by sc2 and this one so this is the step one now step two so from here you cannot do anything so you have to remember all the four rules that i already told so by using rules you we can do that this take off point we can shift it behind this one so we apply rule 4 so in rule 4 what is in rule 4 rule 4 if this is gs block and here take off point then after this will be if we before sorry sorry before after sorry here take a point if we want to after the gs block then this will be gs and take a point will be after gs this will be 1 by gs so this is cs and this so here i apply rule 4 so after applying rule 4 
this one means this take off point is after the this block so this will be plus minus 1 by r1 this 1 by sc1 this is i simplify this one means 1 by 1 plus r2 c2 s this one and rest of the component will be same this is minus plus this one b cs rs and cs so now this feedback will be after the this one block and this will be 1 by gs means here gs this one this one so 1 by gs will be 1 plus r2 c2 s so we complete this part <clears throat> after that you see that these two blocks are in cascade so this block and this block will be multiplication after that you see sc2 will be negative feedback so this block will be you can represent like gs divided by 1 plus gshs so in step 2 we consider this part and i directly write this equation so plus minus 1 by r1 after this multiplicate multiply to it to this block and apply negative feedback so this will be 1 by sc1 plus r2 c1 c2 s square and sc2 and this will be 1 by sorry 1 plus r2 c2 s cs and rs now you can easily find the transfer function by using this one after that you have to multiply this one this one and apply negative feedback taking means gs by 1 plus gshs and you get the finally transfer function of the system so this is very easy you have to just remember four rules rule one rule two rule three rule four especially for the takeoff point you have to remember this one because these rules are very important to do this block deduction technique so if you have any query please comment on below video section thank you for your kind attention if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you